Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome to All Coin Picks. My name is Stefan. Before I begin, I want to thank everyone for being here and showing their support. You guys are awesome. So I want to share a couple pieces of news with everyone and a little hint of what FUD can actually do good for the market. Let's get started. So I found this chart online that has a display of the 15 cheapest countries in the world to mine Bitcoin. And you're going to realize Venezuela is actually by far the cheapest country, even twice as cheap as the second place. If you take a look now at the 15 most expensive countries to mine Bitcoin, you're going to realize that they're, they're about the same, except for South Korea, which is so high compared to everything else. And I'll just assume it's the cost of electricity. But the part that amazes me is that their currency they won is the third largest volume for trading Bitcoin. In this photo, you're going to see all the states in the US and how much does it cost in each state to mine Bitcoin. Uh, aside from Alaska and aside from Hawaii, all the states have about a good average. There's some that are much higher than others, but I'm just going to assume is because of the electricity or because of all the different seasons there. But if you take a quick look at the average in the US, it's actually below $5,000. The part that is confusing is I actually found this little web page that talks about the cost of mining Bitcoin, which is actually different than the breakout even cost of Bitcoin, which they state here from Sunstrat that the current breakout even cost for mining Bitcoin is about $8,000. So it's hard to believe that if they, if Bitcoin starts dipping below $8,000, that if it will be still be profitable for miners, I know that the cost of Bitcoin, as the cost lowers, the cost of mining Bitcoin also lowers, but they don't want to explain to, to us how does that, to that ratio works. So I found this chart online that shows the cost of transaction fees. And then you can see by the beginning of, of last year, prices were about 45 cents, but as the year progressed, Bitcoin became more and more popular and more and more people were making transactions that there was a high at one point of $34 a transaction. That's why most businesses weren't, weren't they didn't want to use Bitcoin as a payment solution because fees were so expensive. And as they introduced the Lightning Network, you can tell that, that the cost of each transaction became so low that to mine Bitcoin now, the only way that they can make profit is if, if Bitcoin keeps uh, higher than $8,000. Um, let's just hope that miners will continue working. If there's ever any pullback, that their profit margin will be, will be uh, viable still. So moving on to another segment, I actually found a little piece of FUD to hit the news and someone decided to store some text and corrupted files of child pornography on Bitcoin's blockchain. This kind of FUD was probably an attempt to make Bitcoin's ownership illegal since possession and distribution of child abuse is illegal just about everywhere. So good to know that the block size, each block size on the blockchain is only about 80 bytes. So that's just not enough to store a picture. So we're not really doing any child pornography distribution. So this was just another attempt to FUD to hurt Bitcoin's reputation. So I found a little bit more FUD and I know there's FUD everywhere, but this is this is pretty important. So the US Treasury just released a statement regarding cryptocurrency wallets and we all know that wallets are not necessarily linked with a certain individual and what what's happening is some of these wallets are involved in malicious activity such as fraud money laundering drug trafficking prostitution child pornography and they came up with a a, a group of laws uh, that keep wallets like this from being able to make transactions so the OFAC, which is the Foreign Office of Foreign Assets Control, they structured all these laws to combat these forms of crimes. And then very soon, exchanges worldwide will have to follow these guidelines. Privacy coins, again, will end up becoming a topic once again. Coins like Monero and other privacy coins will end up shining again. You know, uh, their, their wallets and transactions could be private, but 
that doesn't necessarily exclude them from heavy scrutiny from the government. So moving on to another segment also, I actually found this small article and I'm not 100% sure about how accurate this information is since it's uh, just released by Medium. And it states that coin market cap has been not very accurate in their, I guess, their info and their content where most of the top 100 coins and probably most of their coins have uh, improper information about circulating supply, volume, they don't have updated websites. And someone is saying that they also take advantage of these new world coin listings and they do insider trading with that information. I haven't found any deeper source about this insider trading, but it's safe to say that in the crypto space, that is not something that will be like very surprising. So this is a FUD that I actually like. So a 15 year old was able last year to hack the nano ledger and this information kept was kept offline for quite a while because I guess they didn't want to spread any mass panic with you know wallets being unsafe. So he was able to trick the information display the, to access the ledger, which which to be fair, it's not something normal to happen with most users and they were able to update it so uh, a new update came out which it has been recent they they've been constantly updating it and please do follow if you do have a nano ledger in and you haven't updated yet i would suggest you do it right away or anytime you can actually follow all these steps I, I, I think this is great, you know, someone released a little bit of FUD, it was still a very safe, it was probably the safest way also still to store your, your cryptocurrency assets, and now it's even safer, so that's just goes to show you that FUD can actually improve this market, you know, this is it for, for, for me guys, and um, I hope you guys enjoyed these videos, I'll be making more videos soon, um, and uh, thank you guys for watching.